Oh, see? It works. And pretty much they play exactly the same. Luck doesn't get quite as Luck gets a doesn't get quite as good jump, but he can he gets lots of power with his hammer attack. He doesn't get range, but instead he gets the he can pick up and throw attack. And I think that's really cool how after he throws attack, there's that few seconds in the air where you're controlling attack, so works really well. And these guys respawn after the cutscenes, I have no idea what's up with that, but So yeah, I'm gonna be LPing this game. <laughs> Hopefully you guys will enjoy this. I don't know, personally I love watching LPs of uh, platformer games. It just takes me around. And look, oh my god, I can't get by here. Well, at least not with tag. <gasps> oh my god, he can climb stuff. Yeah, whatever. Pretty sh this tack can come up whenever the hell he please I'll, I'll mainly be playing as tack and that was a fail yeah and just so you guys know there's pretty much other than the fact that you go back a little bit there's no real punishment for dying like the enemy well yeah the enemy stayed dead and everything so but yeah I'll mainly be playing as tack just cuz I just don't like luck tack is much more agile and I don't know Lightsabers for the win, I guess. Oh my god, something I haven't even uh, mentioned yet. Oh crap, what a What the heck? Why is this swing physics broken? Okay. Never mind. What the Never mind. I don't remember how to use the swing swinging physics, but Something that I haven't mentioned yet is, so as you can see in the top left and right corner, you've got your uh, stats. Red are health, shut up tap. And if the green bar is your mana, so, like running uses up mana. And so let me just switch into attack and... Oh yeah, also they have special combos. I Wait. Yeah, see? If you press B Y he can do this uh he can do this special uppercut if he'll do it correctly. See? There it was. And tack and and lock instead does this uh spin attack thing. Yep. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, there's no real point to chasing it. Either way you have to go this way. But, yeah. Wait, oh. What can Tack do for PNX? Oh yeah, Tack can do this little spinning thing and he can do... He can do a ground pound. Don't expect me to use those special combos very much because I always forget they're there. And you never actually have to use them. So, what's the point? It's always really hard to describe like the first level because all these, like so many of these platformers, they all start the same. Like you just go to the little tutorial level, then you beat the tutorial level, and then you go to the hub world. Well, not really a hub world, just a level select. And yeah. But whatever, this is still an awesome game. Not as good as Staff of Dreams. If you had to get Staff of Dreams or this, I can't say anything about the first one because I never played it, but... Just so you know, Savage Dreams could pwn this one any day. See? Throwing is awesome. All the feathers do is they fill up your mana, just so you guys know. Goodbye. Actually, yes we have. I pressed press B and X already. I think he, yeah, you, mana run is actually pretty useful because it lets you jump out larger gaps. It doesn't do anything to combat, so, you don't, 
Well, mana can also be used for spells, but we don't have any spells yet. Uh, crap, stop hitting me. Jesus, I'm going very slow about this. This isn't necessarily a good one to record with my camcorder, just because the levels are, they're not super long or anything, like they're an average length for a level, like, I, I wouldn't complain that they're too long or too short, but they're a tad bit too long just for my type of recording, but, no, whatever, hopefully we'll be able to get through it. We got through Paper Mario, well, Paper Mario had loads of save spots in. You can't, oh yeah, you can save on the pause, never mind, we're gonna be good. Got the control layout there, options. Yes, I'm doing that just because, damn it, I noticed in that cutscene how loud it actually was. So, just gonna, hope that got, hopes that, uh, Alright, that's good. And, uh, uh, oh, she holding on for survival. You'll hear them say that a lot. for the next 60 years. Now, it's my pleasure to begin the challenge by introducing this year's teams. Jib and Jab of the Jib Jab tribe. Stone Crusher and Thunderfist of the Gramazon tribe. Bartog and Krug of the Blackmist tribe. And the Hon! representing the... Poop <laughs> I don't care about the help icon, so yeah, I just gotta say this, voice acting, superb in this game. This game just nailed the vo voice acting just purpose, just perfectly. So yeah, we've got our big whole stats up there, which I'll explain more about later. And this right here is just a place where we... Yeah, we don't have... I'll explain that later, once we get some stuff to do there. But, yeah. So, we need to debug the competition, as he described in the cutscene. So, yeah, this is sort of our hub area. It's not really a hub, we're all just, like, a little level select. And... Silverstone Coast. Here's something that I noticed the first time I played this game. Score? Because, from... From because Savage Dreams didn't have any type of score, so when I heard score, I'm like, what does this mean? And let's just say we'll see. Look up there, Locke. We're being timed. 
minutes. We need to complete this challenge as fast as we can. The more time we have left, the more score we'll get. Time equals score. Gotcha. Yes. This game is fucking timed. Why? I hate when games do that. Don't worry, the timer isn't going to be like a huge issue, it's just... Why? Like, time really won't be an issue, because we you get, you get so many time bonuses and everything, so time's definitely not an issue for us, but... Why? Like, seriously, why would you make the game time? And these are going to be our basic enemies. They replace the Woodies. The guys we were fighting in the first, in the tutorial stage were called Woodies, and they were the main enemy in a 